breaking news coming in. SpaceX has launched a new crew to the space station to replace NASA's stuck astronauts. Now, the replacement for NASA's two stuck astronauts launched to the International Space Station on Friday night, paving the way for the pair's return after nine long months. Butch Wilmore and uh, Sunita Williams, uh, in fact, they need SpaceX to get them a relief and get them back to uh, the Earth. Uh, before uh, 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 nine months after they were lifted off. Now, arrival is set for late uh, Saturday night is what we are learning. Now, NASA wants overlap between the two crews so Wilmore and Williams can fill in the newcomers on the happenings aboard the orbiting lab. That would put them on course for the undocking next week and a splashdown of the Florida coast, uh, weather permitting. Now, the duo will be escorted back by the astronauts who flew up on a rescue mission on SpaceX last September alongside the two empty seats reserved for Wilmore and Williams on the return leg. Now, reaching the orbit from NASA's Kennedy Space Center, the newest uh, crew includes NASA's and McLean and Nicole Ayer is what we are learning. These are both the military pilots. There's also one from Japan and Russia as well and both of them are also the former airline pilots. Now, they will spend the next six months at the space station considered the normal stint after springing Wilmore and Williams free. So this is what we are learning as far as uh, the return of uh, Sunita Williams is in fact a concern. Let me go across to my colleague Shrinjoy who joins us uh, live in the broadcast with more details. Shrinjoy, good morning. Now this was a long awaited uh, mission to bring back uh, uh, Sunita Williams and also Wilmore and we are seeing that uh, this mission has been launched to bring, the, uh, uh, bring them back after nine long months. Yes, Sunita Williams has been in space for over nine months and nearly 300 days in fact and it's been a heroic effort by her. It has to be said that uh, several attempts to bring her back have not been successful. There have been some problems with the rockets which is why uh, there have been these delays. Normally, as you rightly said, six months uh, is the time astronauts spent at the International Space Station. Sunita Williams will be spending or has already spent much more time than that. She and will, uh, Butch Wilmore will be back perhaps next week. Uh, they, they will uh, brief the four astronauts going across, two Americans, a Japanese and a Russian who are going across. And uh, after briefing them, uh, they will be uh, flying back. So it would be a heroic uh, 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 journey uh, and stay at the International Space Station. And she will be received joyously, I would imagine, when she does come back. Absolutely. So after nine long months, uh, Sunita Williams as well as Butch Wilmore will be brought back home. NASA and SpaceX have launched a long-awaited crewed mission on Friday. Go or main engine cutoff, where the nine engines on the first stage will cut off ahead of the first and second stages, will be separating from one another. Then the single Mer main engine cutoff. SpaceX Dragon, two Alpha. Stage separation confirmed. Copy, two Alpha. Great call outs and incredible views there on your left hand screen. On your left hand screen, you can see a view from stage one. Extremely excited crowd here in Hawthorne. We have so Sunita Willem as well as Butch Wilmore. Uh, they were supposed to spend only 10 uh, days aboard the International Space Station. They were supposed to be back in June 2024, but now it's been nine months uh, that they are stranded at uh, International Space Station, and uh, their return, their homecoming, will be very special. Shinjoy. 
Yes, undoubtedly. Here are people who was supposed to be there for a few days, and they've been stuck there for over nine months. And naturally, people are uh, first very, very proud that they've done very good work in space in those nine months. And secondly, when they come back, there will be great applause for them because not only have they done a good job, but they've shown that they can stick it out. It shows enormous willpower, enormous ability to be in space for more than a few days or six months at most. Here is someone who's been there for about 270 to 300 days. That's a long time in space. Just the two of them in space, in difficult conditions. Yes, it's much easier than it once was, but even then it's not that easy. And the fact that Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore have done as well as they have is a matter of great pride. Absolutely. So, uh, Sunita Williams as well as Butch Wilmore, they are all set to uh, arrive is what we are learning. They were supposed to be there for a few days, but now it's been more than nine months that they are stranded there. But uh, their uh, return is uh, imminent is what we are learning. A very important uh, moment there. Uh, Sunita Williams is closer to homecoming through 10 to replace Sunita and uh, Butch Wilmore there. NASA and SpaceX has launched crew 10 uh, mission. Uh, there were uh, several technical slags uh, is what we are learning. There were multiple delays. There are technical slags that caused them to being stuck there. Could you explain to us, uh, Shrinjoy, what uh, actually led them uh, led to this? Because they were supposed to spend only a few days there, but now it's been nine months. Well, first of all, they want rockets. You need the rocket to go across and bring them back. So that wasn't available. That was the first thing. Then there were one or two. Uh, first of all, there is NASA. Then there are all these private players, Elon Musk being one of them. Now, those rockets were not ready then. When a rocket more recently was finally ready, it had, as you rightly said, a technical snag, which led to the delay for an even longer period. So when you are in space for 270 days, I suppose every hour counts. So they were looking forward to coming back a couple of days earlier, two or three days earlier. Finally, the rocket is ready. The snag has been sorted out, and now they will be back. Of course, they were, a, uh, they, they were initially supposed to come back much, much earlier. But uh, some of one, there were malfunctioning of rockets, then other rockets were not available. Then when rockets were available, finally, again, there was a technical snag. So there were a variety of problems, not just one. There were a variety of problems which led to this issue. Well, absolutely. Several issues were there. Uh, there were technical slack, te uh, technical issues as far as their spacecraft is uh, concerned that led to this delay. They were supposed uh, to spend only 10 days aboard the International Space Station back in June 2024. But as Shrinjoy was also pointing out, there were several technical snags. There were delays as well, which led to all this. But what we're learning so far is that Sunita William and Butch Wilmore, they are now likely to come back uh, soon as far as uh, this mission by NASA and SpaceX is concerned. So mission has been launched to bring them back uh, to uh, the Earth is what we are learning. NASA astronaut Sunita Willem and Butch, uh, Butch uh, Wilmore was supp uh, uh, supposed to uh, spend only 10 days aboard the International Space Station back in June 2024. But there were multiple delays and now what we are learning is that they are very, very close to homecoming is what we are learning and the world is praying for uh, their safe uh, return. There were technical glitch uh, snags uh, that led to the uh, delay but uh, now this mission has been launched to bring them back. Uh, Shrinjoy continues to be live with us. Shrinjoy, tell us more about this uh, launch that is happening. NASA and SpaceX, they have launched uh, this much-awaited uh, crew that has been sent and uh, Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore will now be brought back. Yes, uh, this is a crew of four astronauts, two American, a Japanese, and a Russian. And they will be uh, lifting off 
and when they do that, uh, they will reach the ISS, the International Space Station, and from there, uh, they naturally will bring, uh, the rocket will be available, and that same rocket will be used by Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore to return to Earth. And as you rightly said, they are, their return is awaited. People are looking forward to having them back, and there is recognition for the excellent work that they have done in space. So naturally, their wealth, they will be joyously received when they come back in just a few days. They've been there for over nine months. Can you imagine two people spending 300 days, nearly 300 days in space? Let's not forget how difficult it would have been. Yes, earlier in the 80s and all that, it would have been more difficult. But today, even today, despite the relatively comfortable stay in space compared to the earlier times, it is still difficult. But Sunita Williams is a very experienced astronaut. She's been in space before, and probably she will be in space later as well. So while it is a difficult task of being in space for 300 days or so, she has managed to do that very, very well. Absolutely. So all eyes will be on uh, their return, which will be very soon. Shinjar, stay on with us. Now, as I was telling you, the two were supposed to spend only 10 days aboard the International Space Station back in June 2024. But multiple delays and technical snag caused them to keep being stuck there. Now, even now, they remain on board uh, the ISS orbiting the Earth around 250 miles above the surface is what we are learning. Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore set off on Boeing Starliner spacecraft in June 2024. But the aircraft had a number of issues that made it impossible for them to return after the mission time ended. Now the capsule sustained a helium leak is what we are learning before the launch and developed four more leaks while it was in orbit. Now this made the, uh, the thruster non-functional. NASA engineers spent months trying to assess the problem but decided to bring capsule back with no one aboard. Now there is a syndrome that astronauts experience after extended space travel and that is called as baby feet syndrome. This happens as the weightlessness experienced in zero gravity causes the formation of a thicker, tougher layer of skin called uh, calluses and this is attributed to the lack of weight bearing activities in space and a lack of muscle uh, functioning there as well. Now the thickened skin on the bottom of the feet naturally developed from walking and standing and gradually softened due to the lack of pressure and friction. When astronauts return, when Will Sunita Willem and uh, Butch Wilmore return, they might feel pain or tingling when they put their feet on the ground. Now baby feet can be taken care with uh, some sort of exercises, a gradual reintroduction to the gravity as well. So baby uh, feet uh, syndrome is something that they will be facing uh, when they return back to Earth. So let us tell you more about this uh, mission that has been launched by NASA as well as SpaceX. So who are the replacements that have been sent to the International Space Station? The first one is from from NASA, her name is Anne McLean, and she is uh, the master army aviator over 2,000 flight hours uh, uh, is what she's done. She was a flight engineer for ISS Expedition 58 and 59. So there you can see that is Anne McLean on the screen and she is from NASA representing the United States. The next one is Nicole Ayers and she's also from the United States. She was assistant director of the 90th fighter uh, squadron is what we are learning. She's the second one from the United States uh, as far as this manned mission is concerned. Lock 200 hours in the operation uh, inherent resolve against the ISIL. The next one is from Japan, uh, Takeyoka Onishi. He was one of the first Japanese astronaut on International Space Station. So a very, very uh, experienced person, you can say, took part in ISS Expedition 48 and 49. So this is, uh, uh, in fact, he's from Japan. And this one, he is from uh, Russia. He was selected as the a uh, cosmonaut in 2018, uh, another astronaut from Russia, no space flight experience but has flown Boeing 757 and 767. So it's a manned mission 
two are from uh, the United States, one from Japan, and one from Russia. Very experienced uh, astronauts that have been sent uh, to bring uh, Sunita Willem and uh, Butch Wilmore back, going across to Shinjoy again. Shrinjoy, we just told our viewers about uh, the manned mission, all the four uh, astronauts that have been sent uh, to bring uh, Sunita Willem and Butch, Butch uh, Wilmore back. Two are from United States, one from Japan and one from Russia. How important is uh, this mission? Well, first of all, it has to be remembered that for all the problems that America and Russia have had, uh, for about for decades, uh, the Cold War, then uh, uh, other issues, now currently the war in Ukraine, the one area where cooperation between the two countries, between the United States and Russia, never ended. And both, uh, both have enormous respect for each other's abilities, is space. So for years, the Russians and the Americans have been working together as far as the space sector is concerned. And this is another example. You have a Russian, you have a Russian cosmonaut on this spaceship uh, to rescue two Americans. Sunita Williams is an American citizen. She is, of course, of Indian origin, but she is an American citizen, as is Butch Wilmore. And one of the four people, as you said, there are two Americans, both with military experience, a Japanese astronaut and a Russian cosmonaut. And the Russian cosmonaut uh, will be part of this mission to help to bring back two American astronauts, one of them being Sunita Williams. So this cooperation has always existed within, between America and Russia. And that has been a great feature of this space effort by the world because Absolutely. the two so largest much awaited mission has been launched to bring Sunita Williams and Butch, uh, Butch uh, Wilmore back to the earth is what we are learning. Shrinjoy, stay on with us. Now shifting our focus.